Good afternoon, fellow Plexers. Fellow Plexers who may use a Synology NAS and may want to move to a separate Unraid install on more powerful Intel hardware, who also run channels DVR. Now, when I first built my little Unraid NUC that doesn't have its own array but points back to my Synology NAS, I started with Plex and got that running and played around with it for four or five months. Well, I also installed Channels um, DVR on it because that's my favorite DVR service. And I couldn't get it to point back to the, the Synology NAS to record its um, media. And it just recorded to the cache drive. And that was fine because I wasn't using it a real lot. But I figured out all the secrets to it. And this is just to show you how to get it to work. So you have, you have to have an Unraid user on your Synology NAS with its own password and give it permission to the folder you want to record in for Channels DVR. So I created this folder, this, this shared folder called Channels-DVR-Unraid and nothing needs to go in it. The container will create what it needs when you spin it up. So that's easy. Create an Unraid user, have a password, give it access, read-write access to the folder you want to use. And because we're using Docker containers, which are is Linux, everything should be lowercase, no spaces. So that's why I've got the dash DVR dash Unraid. So then you, you have to use the unassigned devices um, add-on or, or app in Unraid to then be able to mount that detected. Synology network share to then use in your container. So that's it right here. So if I click on this, you'll see I can go into the Synology and I can see a test recording that I've made today or a test movie recording I've made. It's all standard stuff. So then when you go to apps, you just search channels, DVR, and you've got a choice of an Intel or an NVIDIA install. Well, let's click on the NVIDIA for a second. You'll be prompted with this screen. Now, because I don't have my own storage on the Intel NUC and just the cache drives, the app data, I'd have to change this user cache and the, um, let's go to the advanced view. And everything else is set up for you. When you're doing the Intel one for an Intel processor, this extra parameter line is filled in for the Intel info, and here it's filled in for the NVIDIA info. So let me, let me get out of this, and I'll show you what I've actually used in my own container. So I just needed to set up my path for the DVR back to my Synology NAS. So this is default. Don't change this. And this is simply my path back. Forward slash MNT, forward slash remotes, forward slash Sino1520 underscore channels dash DVR dash unraid. And that goes in both the host field and the default value field. And it would be read and write and the description is left blank. And when you spin the container up, um, you can start the web instance of channels DVR and just set everything up from there. It's very simple to configure. Thanks for watching.